because you know it's I guess it is a, a low flow toilet bowl and you know how there's not really a nice big toilet well I mean what I was trying to say I'm not sure if my video kind of messed up on me here but um you know like this toilet's definitely better than the Norris Thompson when it comes to uh, flushing down rags and stuff like that the thing, the thing I noticed is that um, there's um, not that motion that comes with this toilet you know to build up a nice big tornado but it takes down and uh, no plungers uh, need it there so I'm very impressed with that and uh, this will be uh, the fun flush Okay. Seco two thousand heading out. guys um it's me seco 2000 again those pictures i just showed there were the first pictures of it um when i uh, attained it but before i go to the um after scenes of this video i just wanted to wrap up a few things um back a while ago i uploaded a 1948 universal rundle toilet video and now i'm starting to think from what some of you guys are saying that it um is a sears uh toilet and um speaking of the Sears toilet um somebody recently on eBay did um have one for sale and um they weren't willing to ship and I wasn't that interested because I, I wanted it in a different color but um I did take get the pictures and um take a look at these pictures it looks very interesting um it looks like it's a little bit of a cross mix between the the newer um pink one that I showed the um, 1960s, uh, pink one. But before I get it even back to that, now that I just showed you all these, uh, pictures, so it's a really beautiful, interesting looking toilet, eh? <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> so much for that one, um, anybody getting that toilet. But for the 1948 one, yeah, I think that's the Sears one, because it doesn't flush like I forgot which YouTuber had a video up in the past on it, but I think they had a 1947 Universal Rundle toilet. And um, when you take a look at this uh, green one here, I believe that is the one that I was looking for. And I thought I at first I had that one, but now I realize I didn't because the mouth in, of the bowl looks the same. I'm not sure if that one has a siphon jet in the bottom of the bowl, like the I guess the Sears one that I have. But uh, you could tell, like, when you look at the outer part of the bowl, the exterior is different from the um, 1948 one I uploaded on YouTube. And, um, speaking of the newer Universal Rundle, once again, I'll show you again here. Um, you'll see that the bottom of the bowl, um, the shape is different. Where the exit is, there's an octagon shape. I was talking about that earlier versus this older model just by you know like a few years three four three four years that uh you know it looks different at the bottom you can see that there's a, a straight all the way to the back so it doesn't have the same bottom design there and not only that when you look at the one that i have the tank lid is a whole flat surface now this other pink one here, which of course everybody has seen this picture on the internet, this is not the one that I have, but you could tell it's a um, pretty much 
probably a 19, you know, 50s one like the blue one I just showed here. But take a look at the tank lid. You see how it's different? It has like this middle push-up area. I'm not sure if there's any other differences, but um, the bowl looks the same like the blue one that I have. So you can tell, you know, there not only was a different exterior with a different internal design for the bowl, but there was, I guess, uh, two different tank lids. So um, that's all I have to say for that. And um, in the future, I hope I can get the mineral deposits out of the bowl properly by using some type of acid bowl cleaner. Um, I know um, YouTuber uh, Vintage Toilets VT knows more about this, so hoping you can help me out. And you know, I'm gonna if I do get find a place to buy the product to try it out on the bowl I'll make a video on it but um it's hard to find that stuff here in Canada anyways um back to the video thanks Trying to get all the mineral deposits out. You know why I'm doing this, right? So now it gets through the rim jet. Look at that big siphon jet hole. Now I tilt the toilet close quickly. Let's see if we can get even more. Hold on. Okay. It's now been approximately five months later. I've had this thing still soaking vinegar, and you can see how it evaporated over the months. I don't know if it'll help, help with the removal of some of the mineral deposits, but there are um, some mineral deposits, which I'm not happy about. I want to see if anything comes out. I'm so sorry I don't have a flashlight. Or more than two arms and hands. And this thing is still um, struggling. I think it really doesn't cut it. I'm just gonna do a little. I think I'm just gonna clean it up and give up on trying to break out some of the mineral deposits. That's yeah, crazy, man. Anyways, um, this is finally it for um, me finding one of these. It's been a long time, you know. Um, anyways, I don't know why I'm. Re recording this as if it's the beginning of the video this is the after stuff and this is how the tank looked exactly when I got it, it came with no fill valve no lever and um, the thing to hold up the float ball is missing I'm hopefully put in a copper ball with um, a brand new copper tank fill valve which I forgot to just show right now as for the um, Bowl. This is how I, uh, it looked after, you know, um, five months of soaking in vinegar. I think the mineral deposits are usually built up around where the paint isn't uh, spray painted on it. I'll see what I can show with inside there as well. Let's see if I get the flashlight. It's one big... Look at that. I'm just moving it here. It's quite... Um, big
That's what you call how deep the, the thing goes down in. As for the other side, when I put it through the other way around, it looks like this. Whoopsie. Look at that, it drops all the way down out the water. It's like they seal it off the internal bowl walls, like they seal off to the side somehow. I don't know how they do that. So we'll get a full powerful flush out of this one for sure. Well, the, the, I'm not sure about the... The trapway's not bad, it's just... It doesn't look so good. Like when I put my hand down there with some gloves on, it, feel, it doesn't feel blocked up or anything. So that's how uh, this is. <clears throat> you know, how it looks from the side there. It's a straight um, drop down. As for the date, it's saying um, 1957. I think it's saying September. I can't make it out. If it's a 6, it might be a 6. Dash, yeah, 1957. It's one digit for sure, not two digits, not a double digit. September something. If I had to guess, maybe the fourth or sixth. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the HU stands for. So um, this tank was made in uh, September. The date says um, September. I have no idea why my camera is not focused. Okay, there it is. September 4th, 1957. So probably the tank and the lid um, was made the same day. Hey, you are 17. <laughs> okay. September 4th, 1957. Um, got, um, yeah, I'm going to be installing uh, this one with that. All brand new. You know, I was before thinking if I should have just uh, removed the um, thing inside the tank there and um, try to hook up a nice... Uh, rare type flush doll and see if this could have worked but I'll leave this one for a future video you know because this is the older style type um, bowl underneath take a look how different this one is take a look at that it has a different shape to it one thing I found a little strange though is right here it looks like there's an internal crack or something I don't know if that's just how it was made from the factory or you know, they dropped it down hard in the first house, wherever it wasn't installed. <clears throat> Though I think, if I remember correctly, it was, it's Texas. Um, and the uh, exit hole, um, that's vinegar I had in it, so I guess that's from the vinegar, but it's very deep. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a, an easy exit hole out. It looks like it was, um, sprayed, uh, you know, like, there's enamel inside make it easier to exit it one thing I find very annoying especially with some of these corporations that did uh, stamp these uh, toilet bowls is why do they uh, put the stamp near the exit hole where it gets all dirty and um, the wax blocks it oh this is saying 1957 hold on um, from what it's saying here it looks like it's saying APR1 1957 then there's that H-U so this is um definitely not uh, September like the tank I'm seeing a one APR um yeah 1957 so it's probably April 1st that almost fooled me there um yeah so that's it for the dates on this if this is the end of the video which I don't know if it is anyways um Seco 2000 heading out and uh, thank you for watching my video. I know it's been a while since I posted up anything. Um, I'm actually doing a lot of things. Uh, you know, YouTube's not paying me money to make these videos. Come on, how can you make any money recording to other videos?